Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackU.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the all-new Alpine Stars SMX Plus V2 boots. This boot retails for $369. Please understand we don't update videos for pricing changes only if the product itself has been completely redesigned. Let's talk about who this boot is right for. This is a sport boot designed for track or street riding. It is so comfortable, right? And this is that's really kind of the hallmark of the Alpine Star boots. It is so comfortable. You can walk around a lot in this, right? It feels great while walking around in it. And then it's technical enough to take this boot racing. Let's talk about sizing. This is where it gets a little bit confusing. We spent a good amount of time benchmarking the sizing. I use myself and another staffer here. I'm a size 12 US. Jimmy is 11 and a half US. We both have worn several pair of boots, right? And we agree that these boots run one size larger than marked, okay? This is a 45, which per their size chart equates to a 10 and a half US. I wear a 12 US. This fit me good. It feels like an 11 and a half. Jimmy put it on and wore it. He wears an 11 and a half. He's like, this is an 11 and a half. To benchmark that, I got the size 46, which per their size chart equates to an 11 and a half. He and I both agreed that that boot was just too loose. It was bigger than marked. That one was probably more like a 12 and a half. Walking around in the bigger size, the 46, we both felt a significant amount of heel lift. And that's something that I really don't enjoy when riding. Jimmy made the same comment. Features, benefits. Replaceable toe slider. It's held on right here with an internal hex fastener. It has full ankle stability and impact resistance. Comparing this to the SuperTech R, I would say that a little less lateral protection, right? It's a little softer in that area. And for some people, that's a real benefit because you want something that maybe gives you a little more flexibility, a little more mobility, but it still has tremendous protection, enough to be on the track or street for sure. Super comfortable when walking around. You know, in this these bits and pieces really move and work a whole lot better when you actually have the boot on it and it's full. Impact protection up here for the shin. Obviously it has a crush proof sole. As we showed you with one of the TCX boots we reviewed, you know, it's just thinned out in the area where it needs to flex and you walk. They really got that just right. It feels great. With the boot, I would say these are average, right? They accommodate riders with average width feet and they also accommodate riders that lean a little towards the wider side my feet are a little bit to the wide side and these fit and felt great for me they re require very little break in if your feet are overly narrow this may not be the best option for you it's also important you note that as well it's available in two models we're showing you the vented one quite frankly this is the version that sells the best the perforation all throughout the boot and the vents built into it really help to exchange air in and out. And that works in conjunction with the footbed that we'll show you in a minute too, to help keep your feet as comfortable and dry as humanly possible, considering the activity that we're all participating in, right? Where you just simply, you're gonna get hot, you're gonna get sweaty. Has a motocross style buckle adjuster here, lots of adjustment. That is about its biggest opening right there, usable size is that. You can easily get these over the leg of a road race suit. The zipper is fitted with an expansion panel. Let me try and show you this as good as I can. Look at how easily that moves. That is one of the problem areas with any of the boots, right? We all have different size ankles, and especially when you throw a road race suit in there, it can get a little thicker. This needs to expand so you're not overstressing the zipper, right? And they really hit the mark here with this one. This panel's, you know, different than I've seen used on other models. I like that. It's going to allow that zip to move quite easily so you don't do any damage to it. This boot also includes one of the features I really think is necessary if you're going to take a boot on the track. 
and that's an interlacing system. That allows you to dial the fit of the boot in in such a way that it's locking your heel into the cup of the boot. There's also a lot of protection that comes from that. If you happen to have a crash, and let's say on impact, you go down toes first, okay? By having your heel locked in, it prevents your toes from all getting jammed in that toe box and you can get injured like that. So also reinforced toe box, reinforced heel cup, replaceable heel sliders. Those are installed on the boot to help initiate a slide and prevent a tumble. You can see the motion bellows here in the back of the boot. And then of course, the large one here in the front of the boot. Each one of the boots is fitted with a shifter pad. Yeah, you don't shift with the right boot, but they put it on there so you have a symmetrical look. Padded tongue, lots of padding inside the boot that enhances protection. It also enhances, enhances the comfort quite a bit. I'm gonna pull out real quickly. Here's the insole. You can see how that's all channeled and ventilated, right? That's to help move air around in the boot, it creates a little microclimate there under your foot. And the sole of this boot, I actually noticed there is like a, like a little foam layer that's kind of on top of it. I don't think we're ever gonna be able to get in there and show you that. I mean, I'll do the best I can, but I don't think that's gonna be visible if you had the boot in your hand and pulled the insole out, you kind of see it. It looks to me like they put that in there to work in conjunction with this to increase the padding a little bit. And also, once again, increase that airflow, which enhances comfort. The SMX Plus boots have been a staple product in the Alpine Stars line. From when I first started doing this, they've always been popular. Like I said, it's a quality piece of footwear. It's super comfortable, has a great measure of protection built into it. It's at home on the street. It's home on the racetrack. And this is one of those products, too, that say... You're a street rider that likes to do some track days. You're doing both. This thing crosses over really well between those two environments.